hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so uh, two days back i uploaded a video where i discussed about that where you can apply uh, for phd based upon your gate score based upon your gate rank and there uh, if you have watched that video i have mentioned that which are the iits isers and iits all the places where you can apply based upon your rank so if you have not watched that video i'll give you link of that in the i button please watch that video first here in this video i'm going to talk about those institutes which have started their admission process which have started taking students for their academic uh, sessions in the phd program based upon gate score so few institutes have already uh, like uh, started this process and in the coming days other institutes will also start so i'll try to notify you here on this particular channel so if you are new to this if you have not subscribed the channel please do consider subscribing it i'll keep notify you with all the uh, like notification of the institutes wherever it will come okay I'll try to notify you over here on this channel i would like to thank karthik for providing information about some of the institutes over here so thank you karthik let's see which institutes have started their taking their admission and in order to make the video short and crisp i have just taken the part uh, in which i'll just discuss about the dates of admission and I'll, i will discuss about the eligibility criteria and i will talk about chemistry portion only in case if you belong to physics biology life sciences for any other student please do check the information brochure and read your part okay date will be same just your eligibility might vary so please check that now since we are done with it let's continue with our video now So the first institute over here is IIT Delhi. Uh, I'll give you link to reach out to this particular page in the description of this video. You can directly come up to this particular page. Here are the links. The first link is for your advertisement. Hindi and English it is given. So the uh, the advertisement will carry every information in very uh, like crisp manner. So so once you download the advertisement, this is the advertisement how it looks like. So it says the admission to the postgraduate or PhD program 2022-2023. first semester so online application are invited for admission of the following programs phd departments now here is your chemistry department you can see this is the chemistry department over here and rest of the other departments are also there centers are also there so department centers and school these are the three parts which the institute has so you can check out if your department lies over here you can apply in this particular institute right now uh, right so these are the institutes application process is submission of on application only through online candidates are not required to send hard copy of the application you have to go to this particular website to apply and the fees it says candidate belonging to general obc and ews category are required to pay a fees of 200 rupees as application charge and those who belong to sc st candidate they have to pay 50 rupees as the application fees bank charges will be borne for to the candidate means whatever the additional charges will be there you have to pay that financial assistance to the scholarship available for the full time phd mtech uh, students as per the details given in the information brochure so you have to go for the information brochure to see that uh, dates are given over here that the online application commences on 14th of march so the admission uh, application has already started from 14th of march and last date is 11th of april 11th of april is the last date for the admission uh, for applying for iit delhi this is the information brochure i'll quickly come to the thing where it is required so if you come little down here are the important dates submission of online application is started on your 14th of march last date is 11th of april uh, interviews will be done between may 16th to june 24th and other dates will be announced later on so you have to come down for chemistry or basically for the phd program so here it says that how the phd program is going to go what are the course work and other academic requirements uh, next is PhD, admission to the phd program it says admission to the phd program is normally made on the basis of interview of the eligible candidate conducting by the department center or school concerned through the department research committee drc center research committee or the school research committee right so they are going to take your admission based upon your interview interview performance okay so admission scheduled and all the things are mentioned over here these uh, you can read it if you want what we are more interested in is the eligibility criteria okay so the qualifying degrees for uh, phd okay so these are these are the like minimum qualification for admission in full time phd program so if you see here uh, the qualifying degree 
is uh, MSc if you have done MSc or MBA or MA or MBBS depending upon your subject you should also have 60 percent marks or 6 CGPA on the 10 point scale in your qualifying exam that means in MSc 60 percent marks is required and apart from that you should have qualified either GATE or CSIR or UGC NET or ICAR or ICMR or DST Inspire Fellowship. So, if you have any of these fellowship uh, like if you have qualified GATE also then also you are eligible and if you have done any of these then also you are eligible to apply into this. So, this is the eligibility criteria there are so many different things in this particular brochure but I am only going to discuss those which are important. So, these two things are important to know the dates how much you have to pay to get admission and what are the eligibility criteria. So, this is done for IIT Delhi. The link is there in the description. You can go to this and you can read about it more, right. Next institute now let us talk about the next institute is uh, IIT Kharagpur. So, IIT Kharagpur has also started taking admission uh, for their PhD degree program and this is their uh, information brochure. So, this brochure belongs to IIT Kharagpur and the PhD degree program is started over here. The date of commencement of online application is started from 22nd of March and uh, the last date to apply is 17th of April. Please make a note of all these dates because you have to apply. If you are interested, you should apply before the date ends, right? Uh, then let us talk about that instruction to fill the form. So, it says fill in the online application form, register with your email address, login and then make the payment okay you have to upload all the credentials and you have to upload your photograph and signature then you have to make the payment and then you have to take the print out of it once you are shortlisted you will be asked for the interview okay so then the whole brochure is there where everything is detailed like in detail it is expressed or it's being explained uh, phd program you just read upon that what are the research area if you see chemistry is over here this is the link to go for department of chemistry you can see what work is being done which professor is uh, like having what lab and all the things so you can get all the information on this particular website this will be helpful to check out that in which field you want to do research or under which supervisor you want to do research eligibility criteria is that all candidates seeking admission to the phd program under categories mentioned below shall have to possess requisite marks grades in the qualifying degree as shown below so, minimum of 60 percent marks or CGP of 6.5 on the 10 point scale in the qualifying exam in engineering science or equivalent or minimum of 55 percent marks or 6 in the point scale of qualifying exam humanities social science. So, for humanities social science this is 6 but for science students at 6.5 okay. One more thing that note the candidate appearing for the final year of qualifying degree program whose final result is awaited uh, is required to enter CGPA marks of all the preceding uh, semesters. Okay. One more thing which is required here that is additional requirement of admission under different categories. So, a regular with institute assistantship. So, in that case, uh, you should have a valid GATE score that is above the cutoff level of the student admitted for MTech or MCP admission in the particular year or uh, net qualification with the assistant professorship. So, either net qualified or gate qualified both are not asked if you are just gate qualified then also you can apply for it if a person who is employed and other things you can read over here the institute fellowship will be 31000 for the first two years and 35000 for the next three years it is mentioned over here just similar to the jrf fellowship as we have discussed about it okay uh, you can also have individual fellowship like csir ugc jrf or something or inspire fellowship like that in that case you should have a valid award letter in order to avail that okay uh, so, that is what is over here about the uh, like uh, eligibility for IIT Kharagpur. So, it is one and the same just the only difference is the dates and that here it requires 6.5 CGP out of 10. Okay, So, make sure that uh, you are fulfilling these eligibility criteria. So, that is the second institute IIT Kharagpur. Let us talk about the next institute. The next institute is IIT Kanpur. So, IIT Kanpur has also started taking admission programs which they are offering there are so many programs you can look upon it for phd uh, chemistry is over here you can see there are so many other subjects you can look upon if your subject also falls over here you can apply for that general informations are here the detailed information of pg program offered at iit kanpur is available on in this particular manual you can click on this you can read the whole brochure um, Indian candidates are also like all the other information about that is given to you. Next, how to apply that is what we are going to look upon. So, the online application 
is going to start from 22nd of March. So, from 22nd of March it has started and it will go up till 11th of April. That is the Im, like important date over here. Indian national can apply through online mode of application. Foreign national can apply only through offline mode. So, that is for the foreign nationals. Last date for receiving application in both the offline and online mode is 11th of April only. Um, next, PhD applicants must arrange two letters of reference as well. For this purpose, the name of referees along with the email address are to be provided by the candidate at the online application portal. So, this is something which is different in IIT Kanpur. So, if you are applying for PhD admission, you should have two references also, two letter of references from two different people who refer you uh, to get admission in PhD. So, in case if you are having any other references means any other professor, any teacher uh, or any like you know lecturer in your college who can refer you for this, so that should work. Right, so that is what over here you can go to the important links over here to uh, read about it. So, let us click on this link and here you will be taken to the page where you can download and you can read all the things. So, on this link apply online you will be able to apply for this particular uh, like uh, program and you can read about all the other things over here like uh, to download the certificate SCST OBC certificate click over here to download the format and get your certificate in that particular format. Uh, if you want to, if you are external student, so how you can apply for that, if you want to do part time PhD, how you can do for that. So, so many things are there, there are so many informations, you can just click on the links, keep reading about it, keep getting informed about it. I am here just to inform you that the application process has started. Eligibility criteria, let us look upon this, so that is important. So, if you want to go for PhD in sciences. So, chemistry, earth science, economic science, mathematics, physics and statistics are the subjects in PhD in sciences and here the eligibilities are that a master degree uh, or a bachelor degree for four year program with marks CGPA not below the specified minimum. Specified minimum will be again 60 percent. Okay, Candidate either must have qualified GATE score means it should have a GATE score or apart from that GATE score you could have JRF or you should have INSPIRE fellowship then also you can apply. If you do not have GATE you have JRF then also you can apply. In addition to GATE or JRF, a valid JUST score is also an eligibility, uh, an eligibility criteria for applying for PhD program in physics. So, if you are applying in physics, you should also have JUST score also. In chemistry, you do not need that. Candidate with NBHM fellowship will be considered for PhD in mathematics and statistics. The requirement of GATE, JRF, JUST is waived off for the candidate having masters in science from IITs with a minimum of uh, 8.0. Uh, CGPA. So, if CPI. So, in case if you are a student from IIT and you have CPI more than 8, then you do not have to qualify GATE or JEST or JRF anything. You can directly apply for PhD admission here. For economic science and other things are here, I am just going to read for the chemistry purpose. So, I hope this is clear to you. So, try to apply for this if you are eligible for this. So, the last institute which we are going to talk about in this particular video is IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay has also announced its admission process based upon GATE score. So, for PhD, uh, the eligibility criteria is that the general eligibility criteria of admission in all the academic units or department center uh, is given over here. Qualifying degree should be either master's or equivalent degree in engineering or technology, bachelor's degree, master's or equ equivalent degree in science, that is where MSc falls in. So, and plus for qualifying degree listed under 2, 3 and 4, that means this, this and this, if you have these of them, means if you have MSc, in that case you must have any one of these, any one of these what, either valid gate or CD score or you should have qualified net or JRF or you should have uh, like, uh, you should have been selected for national level exam conducted by MHRD such as UGC, IIT, IASC, ISR, IITs, etc. Selected provisionally for DST Inspire Fellowship, minimum of 2 years of professional experience. So, if you have any of these, you can apply. So, if you have GATE score and you have MSc qualified, then you can apply for this. For qualifying, a minimum of 60 percent marks is required in your qualifying exam, that means in MSc. Uh, a first class as is specified by the university or a minimum of 6.0 CGPA on your CGPA score, right. So, these are the eligibility criteria for SCST candidates, the eligibility criteria is little bit relaxed, it goes up till 55 percent. So, you can read about that as well. So, this is about the PhD in uh, like uh, 
in sciences or in chemistry, physics and all the subjects. So, for PhD the mode of application is online, application will start from 23rd of March, the last date to apply is 11th of April that is about PhD in sciences means for uh, chemistry, physics and all the other subjects right. So, these were 4 IITs, 4 institutes which are right now conducting admission based upon your GATE score and they have opened their portal for admission. In the upcoming days, I will also inform about other IITs, other institutes, other uh, ISERs which have started taking admission. So, stay tuned for that. Please subscribe the channel for that and uh, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye -bye. Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription. So, do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So, make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda. That is it for this. Thank you so much.